you've already created your groups but forgot to include a Dropbox, you can add one after the groups are created. You'll only have to create a single group Dropbox even if you have more than one group. Remember that a group Dropbox allows each student enrolled in the group to upload files unless you change the submission options. You may want to review the tutorial on grading a group Dropbox to learn how you can view the submissions from a group and grade them. I'm going to click on the Communicate tab on the nav bar and click Groups. In the View Groups drop-down list, I'm going to choose the group or choose the, uh, the group from the list. You'll notice um, in this column that says Dropboxes, you don't see any. That's how you know you don't have a Dropbox. Now to create a, Dropbox, a group Dropbox, you click on the context menu next to the name of the group category. Click on Edit Category. You're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. If the Expand the uh, Edition options isn't already expanded, you can click on that. Click the checkbox next to Set up a Dropbox Folders and click Save. This will take you to the Create Dropbox Folders page. You're going to enter a name for the Dropbox. And again, remember, I only have to create one Dropbox for this specific, um, if I want, you know, so this will create a, this only one Dropbox. Then you want to go ahead and complete all the Dropbox properties. So for example, add the Dropbox to the gradebook. If you already have an existing item in there, you can, or if you don't, create a new item. And if you put it in a category, give it the points that you want, and go ahead and click Save. I was talking about the submission options, which is down here, so this is important. Um, right now it's set for unlimited and all submissions are kept, which means that every single student in the group can upload the files many times and as many times as they want, and you'll see all the files that are uploaded from the group. If you want only one file, from the group and maybe it's the group leader you can say one file per submission and maybe only one submission allowed that way when one file gets uploaded then uh, anybody else in the group that's enrolled will not be able to upload another file I'll just leave it the way it is right now and I'm gonna go ahead and click create oops and I forgot to put the out of so let me do that. Click Create. See, you get errors too. It'll say one Dropbox is created. You can click Done. And then go ahead and click Cancel. And you'll see, oops, if I go to Dropbox 2, you'll see the Dropbox were created. The little eye next to it will tell you there's no submissions because this is one way to get to your folder submissions. But if I want to view the Dropbox, I can go to Submissions, Dropboxes. If I scroll down, you'll see a Group 2 Project. It'll have the little icon next to it, meaning that this is a group submission. And as submissions come in, then you'll get to be able to grade it, and that one grade will go to everybody in that group.